In this video, I'm going to show one of the most requested features I'm asked about, the Rodecaster Pro, how to do multi-track recording. Multi-track recording is one of the best features, in my opinion, on the Rodecaster Pro, recording separate individual tracks for each input on the desk. How do you enable it? Well, you need to switch it on first, otherwise it just won't work in Adobe Audition. You need to go into the advanced settings and you need to select multi-track recording via USB. As a side note, you can also enable micro SD as well, but USB is what we need and you'll need to disconnect and reconnect the USB cable before this will work. If not, when you go into the multi-track on Adobe Audition, uh, assuming that you've selected the Rodecaster Pro as your default audio input, and the way to do that is in Audition Preferences under Audio hardware, make sure the input and output are Rodecaster Pro Stereo. Okay, as long as you've done that, you should be good to go. But if you haven't enabled multi-track recording, you will find that the stereo input is just left and right, a mix of everything from your Rodecaster Pro. When you've enabled multi-track recording, you will find, if you go back into Adobe Audition Preferences, Audio Hardware, not only do you have Rodecaster Pro Stereo, but you also have Rodecaster Pro Multi-Channel. Make sure you select that on both sides. Rodecaster Pro Stereo for the output is still the same. Click OK. And now in your multi-track session, you can select every single output from your Rodecaster Pro individually. So for instance, mic one, that's the mic I'm speaking on now. If I hit the record arm to record there, you will see my levels flashing up on the screen. How cool is that? If I switch over to mic two, which is not my mic, no level at all on there. That's what I would expect. So mic one is here. Over here on track two, I could decide that will be the, oh, we've got all kinds of ideas, but we'll go for Bluetooth left, Bluetooth right. Doesn't really matter, or we can make it stereo, Bluetooth left and right together. Let's select that. So that'll be everything on Bluetooth. Let's arm that to record. And then over here, we might go in for stereo and we'll go for the sounds left. And of course, left includes right. And if I play a jingle like this uh, and arm it to record, of course, let's play a jingle right now. Music Radio Creative. You can see that appearing on another channel. So very cool multi-track recording with the Rodecaster Pro. Now I'm going to give a quick example. I'm going to hit record in Adobe Audition and see if we can do a quick podcast in multi-track recording mode. Recording now, and you can see I am being recorded only on the top channel. My jingle Music Radio Creative is on track three right now. And if I decide to make a call to Isabella Russell again, she's going to be delighted to hear from me, I'm sure. Let's listen to her, and she should come in on track two, and she does. Let's give this another quick test. How exciting is this? Real live call to Isabella. Will she pick up? Oh, she's picked up. Oh, she did. Amazing. Hello. You are now being demonstrated in a multi-track recording using the Rodecaster Pro, and you are indeed appearing on a separate track in Adobe Audition to the track that I'm appearing on. How cool is that? I feel absolutely honoured. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. Isabella Russell on track two. So you can see it is nicely separating everything out. And that is one of the coolest features, in my opinion, with the Rodecaster Pro. When I stop this recording, there you go. Uh, we can disarm all those tracks now and I can go in and say, right, track one is the host, track two is the guest. So we're labeling up tracks here and we can say track three, jingles. Uh, and now I can go through in Adobe Audition and I can add different processing to each track. So I could say here, well, I want to add a little bit of parametric equalizer. So let's go and find that. Let's add it on. Let's put on uh, the default setting, bit of high pass filter here in Audition. And this will apply only to the host track. So everything I do only happening to the host track. Maybe there's a bit of noise on Isabella's line. I can go in and I can separately go and find noise reduction restoration, add some denoise here. Fantastic. Crank that up to about oh, 40% to reduce noise. Um, over here on the jingles, I might just add in a little, let's say, let's have a hard limiter. And everything can be done on an individual basis. Multi-track recording, Rodecaster Pro. Big thumbs up from me. Let me know how you get on and any questions you have in the comments to this video.